Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve a case study based question from polynomials chapter. Now, this question has three sub questions. The first and the second sub question is for one mark, and the third sub question is for two marks. And it also has an OR question that is, either you can attempt the A1 or the B1. So, let us start with the first question now. A ball is thrown in the air so that t seconds after it is thrown, its height h meter above its starting point is given by the polynomial h equal to 25t minus 5t square. Observe the graph of the polynomial and answer the following questions. Write zeros of the given polynomial. So let us try to understand the question first. We can see that a graph has been given and it is in the form of a parabola. And it is a parabola because the given polynomial is a quadratic equation. So quadratic equations will be always in the form of parabolas, N shape or U shape. Now this parabola represents the trajectory covered by the ball thrown. And the ball is thrown from a starting point which is at zero. So the ball covers certain height and it reaches to a maximum height and comes back to the ground. Now here the Y axis represents the height covered by the ball and the X axis represents the time taken by the ball to cover this trajectory. Now here in the given question we need to find out what are the zeros of the given polynomial. Now the zeros, roots or solution of a polynomial represents the points which are on the x axis. Now here we can see that the curve touches the x axis at two points that is at the starting point and at point 5 comma 0. Since this is the starting point we can consider the coordinates as 0 comma 0. Now, to find out the zeros, we have to consider only the x coordinates of the points which touch the x axis. So here the x coordinate for this starting point is 0 and the x coordinate for this point is going to be 5. So the zeros of the given polynomial are 0 and 5. So let us write here, zeros of the given polynomial are x equal to 0 and x equal to 5. Now let us move on to the second sub question. Find the maximum height achieved by the ball. Now this was the trajectory of the ball covered and this was the highest height or highest point reached by the ball after which it will start to fall down again. So we have to find out how much was the height covered by the ball when it was thrown. And here we can see that the maximum height was reached when the time was phi over 2. Since x axis represents the time, the x coordinate represents the time. So it was at 5 over 2 or 2.5 seconds that the maximum height was reached. So let us consider the polynomial equation they had given in the question. It was h equal to 25t minus 5t square where h represented the height and t represented the time. And here we know that the maximum height is achieved when time t equal to 5 over 2 seconds. So just plug in the value of t as 5 over 2 in this given expression. So here we have h equal to 25 times in place of t we have substituted 5 over 2 minus 5 times in place of t again there is 5 over 2 the whole square. Now let us further simplify this. So 25 times 5 gives us 125 over 2 minus 5 stays the same times 5 square is 25 and the denominator square that is 2 square will be 4. Now further simplifying this we get 125 over 2 stays the same minus 5 times 25 is 125 over 4. Next let us simplify this further that is by taking a common denominator we need to find out the LCM. So here the first term we are going to multiply by 2 and the denominator also by 2 so that the denominator becomes a common denominator of 4. So here we have 125 times 2 gives us 250 minus 125 now the denominator is a common denominator of 4, so we have written here 4. Now 250 minus 125 gives us 125 over 4 or changing it to a decimal we will get it as 31.25 meters. So this was the maximum height reached by the ball when it was thrown, 31.25 meters. Now let us move on to the third sub question. After throwing upward, how much time did the ball take to reach to the height of 30 meters? Now in part 2 of this question we had found out the maximum height the ball could reach and it was 31.25 meters. Now in this question they have asked us, once you throw the ball up, how much time does the ball take to reach a height of 30 meters? 
since the maximum height is 31.25 meter 30 meters should be below 31.25 meters so here we have to find out at what time did it reach 30 meters so let us consider the same polynomial equation now so here this equation represents the relationship between the height and the time and since height here in this question is given as 30 meters we have substituted in place of height 30 equal to 25 t minus 5 t square so t is the one we need to find over here now let us take minus 5 t square and plus 25 t on the other side of equal to sign so we get minus 5t square becomes plus 5t square plus 25t becomes minus 25t and 30 remains same that is plus 30 equal to 0. Now if we look at the left hand side of this equation 5, 25 and 30 all the numbers are divisible by 5. So let us divide each number by 5 to simplify this equation. So 5t square divided by 5 minus 25t over 5 plus 30 over 5 equal to 0 over 5. Now 5 over 5, 5 1 times and 5 1 times, so we get 1 t square over here. Now 5 1 times and 5 5 times gives us 25 and 5 1 times and 5 6 times gives us 30 and 0 divided by 5 is 0 itself. So let us write down the simplified equation now. So we have here t square minus 5 t plus 6 equal to 0. Now the next step is to factorize this expression. So we have to find out the factors in such a way that when we multiply them we should get positive 6 and when we add them we should get negative 5. So the factors we have chosen here are negative 2 and negative 3 because when we multiply negative 2 with negative 3 we get positive 6 and when we add these two numbers we get negative 5. Now the next step is grouping. Let us group the first two terms and the last two terms. So in the first two terms we can see that t is a common term. So let us take it as a common factor. So we have here t. In the bracket we have t remaining from the first term minus 2. Now from the second group we can take the negative 3 as a common term. So negative 3 is taken outside and in the bracket stays t minus 2 equal to 0. Now from these two we have t minus 2 as a common term. So we are going to pull it out and we have the factors as t minus 2 times t minus 3 equal to 0. Now let us equate each factor equal to 0 independently. So we get here t minus 2 equal to 0 and t minus 3 equal to 0. Now taking negative 2 on the other side of equal to sign, we get t equal to 2 seconds and taking negative 3 on the other side of the equal to sign, we get t equal to positive 3 seconds. So we have got two times here, that is 2 seconds and 3 seconds. So to decide the correct answer, let us come back to the graph. So here we have so 31.25 meters that is maximum height was reached at 5 over 2 or 2.5 seconds. So 30 meters has to be reached before 2.5 or 5 over 2 seconds. So here 2 seconds is the correct answer. So t is not equal to 3 seconds but t is equal to 2 seconds. So it takes 2 seconds for the ball to reach a height of 30 meters. Now let us move on to the OR question. Find the two different values of t when the height of the ball was 20 meters. So here they have asked us to find two different values of time when the height of the ball was 20 meters. Now here they did not mention whether the ball was thrown upward or whether the ball is coming down. They want here two different values of time t because this is the maximum height that could be reached by the ball that is 31.25 meters. Now suppose 20 meters is over here. So the ball reaches 20 meters two times, that is once when it is going upward and once when it is going downwards. So the ball is at 20 meters two times in its entire journey, once when going up and once when coming down. So let us find out what is the time taken by the ball when it reaches 20 meters when it is going up and 20 meters when it is coming down. So let us consider the polynomial equation now. So here to find the time t1 and time t2. We have taken the equation h equal to 25t minus 5t square and since the height of the ball is given as 20 meters, we have substituted in place of h 20 equal to 25t minus 5t square. Now let us take minus 5t square and plus 25t on the other side of equal to sign. So we have minus 5t square becomes positive 5t square plus 25t becomes minus 25t and 20 stays the same that is positive 20 equal to 0. Now again we can see that 5, negative 25 and 20 all are divisible by 5. So here we have divided both the sides that is left hand side and right hand side by 5. So now let us simplify this further. 
5 1 times and 5 1 times is 1 t square 5 1 times and 5 5 times is 25 and 5 1 times and 5 4 times gives us 20 equal to 0 divided by 5 we get 0 itself so let us write down the simplified equation now so here we have t square minus 5t plus 4 equal to 0 now the next step is to factorize this expression so we have to find out the factors of 4 in such a way that when we multiply them we have to get positive 4 and when we add them we have to get negative 5 so the factors we have chosen here are negative 4 and negative 1 when we multiply negative 4 with negative 1 we get positive 4 and when we add negative 4 with negative 1 we get negative 5 now the next step is grouping so let us group the first two terms and the last two terms now in the first term we have t common so taking t outside in the bracket from the first term t remains minus 4 and from the last two terms we have negative 1 as a common factor and in the bracket we have t minus 4 equal to 0 now from these two we have t minus 4 and t minus 4 as a common term so let us pull it out so we have here t minus 1 as one of the factors and t minus 4 as our second factor equal to 0 now let us equate each factor equal to 0 so here we have t minus 1 equal to 0 and t minus 4 equal to 0 now taking negative 1 on the other side of equal to sign and same thing goes with the negative 4 taking it on the other side we get t equal to 1 second and t equal to 4 seconds so these are the two values of the time where the ball reaches 20 meters so t equal to 1 second comes over here that is t1 and t equal to 4 second comes over here that is when the ball is going down i hope you have understood all the steps and liked the video and if you found this video useful then you can click on these playlist where you will find more questions of these kind and if you are liking my videos like share and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching